Hi, this is Millie Kay. I'm down here at the Feather River, about 30 miles downstream from Oroville. It's Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. Was down here about a week ago. And as you can see, the water's actually not quite as high as I thought it would be by this time because they've started lowering the releases from up in Oroville. Let me walk over here to the riverbank and show you what it looks like today. It's about 50 degrees right now, probably around 9 o'clock in the morning. It's supposed to have a high of 70 today. So as you can see, things are still pretty dry. What happened is, I was here a week ago. about 5,000 cubic feet per second every couple of hours that first day until we leveled off at about 27,000 cubic feet per second. Right now it's about 21,000 cubic feet per second in river releases that we're getting. So last time I was here before they turned the spillway on the river was about 44 feet deep. Right now, it's about 49 feet deep. And in the interim, it had gone up to 51 feet before they started uh, bringing those releases down again, which they're going to do uh, until they turn the spillway off. But right now, about 21,000 cubic feet per second is what you're looking at coming down the Feather River. Straight ahead is Oroville up that way, 30 miles. And there's that rock that I use as a measuring guide. No water on it today. Water's below the banks. So let me show you here along the water's edge. This is the bank. It's still pretty wet where it just went down that couple of feet. You can see that it had been up to about 51 feet and then when it goes down to 49 it leaves all that area wet. There goes a plane. Don't know if it's Juan Brown or not. <laughs> Looks like it might be a... Well, I'm not sure. Across the way, that's where Feather uh, River uh, has the Yuba River coming in. Right straight across. Down that way is Sacramento. Those of you who have seen my videos, So anyway, those of you who have seen my videos before have seen it when water is up on those trees right over there. The levee's back here. Let me let me just walk down the riverbank a little bit. Yesterday I did a video a little ways upstream under the bridge where the Department of Water Resources is shoring up the riverbanks because of the collapsing uh, due to the yo-yo effect from turning the spillway releases up and down. Sorry about that wind. I wasn't even expecting it today. Okay, here's a place 
I don't even get too close because that sand can chip off uh, pretty easily. And as you can see, as I said, that's where it had been up another couple of feet for, for a while, for a few days, and then it gets everything all wet. And I'll keep going down here. I don't usually come this far because usually there's fishermen down here. But let me show you this edge of the bank. That's what people are interested in. The flood stage here is 80 feet. Flood watch stage is 65. And as I said, today it's about 49 feet deep. Right here, if I were to go stand on that edge, that'll just, I'd fall in. Now where I was yesterday is not too far up that way where they were doing the construction, uh, bringing the rocks in and shoring up the riverbank. As a matter of fact, they'll be headed down this way. A lot of the trucks I know head on down these levee roads toward this area when they dump their loads. They use those levee roads to get in and out. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple of big trucks going by there today. So I think that'll give you a pretty good idea of what's going on down here, 30 miles downstream from the Oroville Dam. I hope you will like, subscribe, and share my video. I really appreciate your views, and I'll see you later.